What's up guys, it's me again, just here to make another quick video, you know, today, we've got the Carlton Banks haircut, yeah, you know, the Carlton Banks low. anyway, today, we ain't here to speak about my haircut, we got some important subjects that I wanted to speak to you guys about, wanted to speak to you guys about boxing, okay, in the last video that I made, which all of you guys watched, I, ex I explained how much money does a boxing manager get paid? What percentage of a fighter's fight purse does he have to pay his manager? I also explained the same thing about boxing coaches. How much money does a fighter have to, um, have to pay his boxing manager and his coach? In this video, I wanted to explain and break down for you guys how much money is a fighter left with after paying all of his expenses after he fights. Example. If a fighter makes £10,000 a fight, after paying his manager, his coach, and all of his other expenses, tax, and all of his other expenses, how much money is he really left with? How much money is he really left with? In the last video that I made, I spoke about a boxing manager would take between 10 to 15% of a fighter's paycheck. A coach will take no more than a 10%. What that means is that as soon as he fights, as soon as he gets paid, bang, 25% of his fight purse is already gone. That's a quarter of his paycheck. What that means is that if you've got a friend that's a boxer and he, you know, and he fights in a hard fight, blood, sweat and tears, and he tells you, you know, for this fight, I'm getting paid £10,000. And you're like, wow, you're getting paid 10 k for that fight? And you're shocked. But when you sit down and you think about it, that 10k is not really 10k. Because when that 10k comes through, the manager takes a 15% and his coach takes a 10%. That's a quarter of that 10k gone. So he's not really fighting for 10k. He's really fighting for seven and a half thousand pounds. Or if a fighter tells you that they're fighting for 20,000 pounds. It's not £20,000, it's really £15,000 because you have to pay your manager and your coach as soon as that paycheck comes through. And you can't pay them monthly, you can't pay them in instalments like you do on a phone contract or like you do on a car finance. You've got to pay them the whole sum then and there. You can't say, you know what, I pay you £500 this week and £500 next week. No, they ain't listening to that bullshit. They want their money and they're taking it in full. One thing that boxing fans don't understand is that training camp costs money. Training camp isn't free, okay? Example, a fighter has to pay for healthy foods, okay? You gotta pay for food. Food ain't free, especially healthy food. And the thing about healthy food is that healthy food is expensive as fuck. Like, you know what? I feel like foods that are not healthy are so cheap. Like, you, you know, you go up the local McDonald's, you get a Big Mac meal and a milkshake, and a few nuggets for about three pound fifty, cheap as hell. But to buy healthy food to last you one week, it's gonna cost you at least forty to fifty pound a week. At least forty to fifty pound a week if you want to eat healthy. Okay, so you gotta buy foods. Next thing, you gotta put the petrol in your car to take you to and from the boxing gym. The petrol ain't free. There ain't no one paying it for you. So you gotta pay your food, you gotta pay the petrol in your car, you gotta pay for your boxing equipment, your boxing gloves, your bag gloves, and your sparring gloves. Okay, you got one we got one gloves that we use for pads and bags, another another pair of gloves that we use for sparring. We got boxing boots you have to pay for, you got a groin guard you have to pay for, you got a head guard that you have to pay for. Then you got your shorts and your training shirts and all of these things cost money and they're not cheap. Boxing boots will cost you about £75. A groin guard will cost you about £50. A good head guard will cost you about £150. A good pair of gloves for sparring will cost you about £120. Bag gloves might cost you about £40 to £50. And I can't add that all up. That's just me thinking off the, you know, off of the top of my head. But if you guys sit down and you calculate that cost, food, petrol, boxing equipment, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. On top of that, during a fighter's camp, they cannot work. If you're training to fight in a hard fight, you have to take some time off work. You can't be going out 
to your local day job to work and then come gym and train. It takes up way too much energy. So while a fighter is in training camp for a hard fight, he cannot work. And if he's not working, that means that he's not earning that monthly wage that he gets at work. Let's say if he's working, he gets 3k each month. He has to take two and a half months off work so that he can train. And that, and if he worked for that two and a half months, he would have made, let's say, £8,000. So that's already £8,000 gone because he's not working. And on top of that £8,000 being gone, he has to pay for all of these expenses. It's mental what a fighter has to pay for. It's mental what a fighter has to pay for. On top of that, you've got to pay the tax, man. You've got to pay your tax. You listen, If you don't pay your tax, you've got these tax people that are going to be knocking at your door every morning and pay your tax or you go out to jail. Depending on, um, I mean, depending on how much you earn, you will have to pay between 20% and 40 or 50% tax, depending on how much you earn. You'll pay between 20 or 50% tax. So you've got to pay your tax on top of that. And I'm not done yet. On top of that as well, you've got to pay your accountant on top of that. We've got all of these expensive. Then, anyway, before I move on, you've got to pay your accountant. My accountant bill came through the other day. I think it was last week. I paid £1,500 to my accountant. I had to pay a lot more tax. I had to pay a lot more tax. My tax bill this year was heavy. My tax bill this year, I looked at it. And I was like, listen, this tax bill, these guys are trying to kill me. These guys are trying to kill me. And I want to encourage every boxer out there to make sure your taxes are paid. Because your tax is the main thing. I remember going there last week. You know, I went to go and pay my tax. It was over £20,000 I had to pay in tax. Paid it last week. And they said to me, oh, you know, if you want to pay it in monthly installments, you can pay it in monthly installments. You can pay like maybe a thousand pound a month, a thousand five hundred pound a month. If you want to set up a payment plan, you can set up a payment plan to pay your tax because then you won't feel it as much. I was like, nah, I'm not playing with any of this tax shit. I think people go to jail for tax. People lose their house for tax. People become bankrupt for tax. Listen, I'm not taking no chances. As long as I've got that money in the bank, I'm paying that shit in full. And I want to encourage everyone watching this video, pay your tax in full. Don't be taking part in a payment plan, £500 a month, £1,000 a month. Fuck that shit. Because if something goes wrong and you go broke and you, spot, and you start spending that money that isn't, you know, that isn't really yours, but it's for the tax man, these people are going to be coming after you to get their money. So make sure your taxes are paid in full. Ain't no monthly installment shit going on around here. I ain't taking no chances. With the tax man. You know what? On top of paying the tax man, on top of paying your coach, on top of paying your manager, your food, your petrol, your boxing gear, on top of paying all of these things, you still have to live. You still have to live. If you've got a kid, you've got to buy the kid food, nappies, pampers, toys, and all that shit that kids like to play with. If you've got a girlfriend, it costs money if you want to take your girlfriend out to the local Nando's, it's TGI, it's TGI Fridays, if you want to take your girlfriend bowling, if you want to go on a date with your girlfriend, it costs money. Nothing in this world comes free. Everything costs money. If you want to, if you got a group event, if you've got a birthday party, and you want to buy clothes, you want to buy new socks, trousers, jeans, a t-shirt, you want to dress nice. If you want to buy these things, it costs money. So on top of paying all of these bills, you have to live. You have to live. Being a pro boxer is not cheap. So when a fighter tells you, I'm getting paid £10,000 to fight in this fight, he's not getting £10,000. If he's, you know what, he's probably not even getting half of that. I haven't got a calculator right here, so I can't calculate everything for you. But let's go through everything that I've explained so far. You've got to pay your coach to your manager a quarter of your paycheck. That's already gone. You've got to pay about £50 a week on healthy foods, 50 to £75 a week, you know, on food. You've got to buy new boxing gear. Boxing gear isn't cheap. Boots will cost you about £70. Sparring gloves will cost you about £120. Head guard, maybe £150. 
and you've got a few other train and stuff that you have to pay for. You have to travel to go and spar in different cities. Like, example, for my last fight, I was sparring up in Wales. I went to go and spar Fred Evans in Wales. I went to go and spar Akeem Ennis Brown up in Gloucester. So you know what I had to do? I had to rent a car. I didn't want to use my car. I didn't want to put those miles on my nice Audi A5. So what I'd done, I used to take out a car. I rent, and to rent a car for a day would cost me about £50 to rent the car for that day. So I spend fifty pound a day. I would rent the car for maybe two days, so I can go there and back. Fifty pound a day, so that's about a hundred pound alone on the car, or a hundred pound alone on the car. And then I have to put the petrol in that car. I have to get insurance on the car, and then I have to go and spa. And then after that, I've got to drive all the way back. I've got to buy food. I've got to buy drinks. Luckily, I've got Winnie's Mills. I've got them doing my meal preps for me. Winnie's Mills are the best in the business. Shout out Winnie's Mills. Any pro boxers out there, make sure you get on Winnie's Mills because instead of me having to pay 50 to 60 pound a week on food, I just get a few Winnie's Mills. You get them, it comes in a container. You put it in a fridge when you're ready. You put it in a microwave. The food is all made for you. So you get things like this that make, you know, things like this that can make a fighter's life a bit easier. But it still costs money and it's still not easy. You know what? Um, I've never claimed to be rich. I've never claimed to have money. I don't really have money. I've got money, but I don't have money like that. I don't, I've got money, but I don't have money like that. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Not, and I've never claimed to have money like that. I have said a few things about money. I have said a few things about other people. But I've never claimed to have long money. Because I don't have long money. I've got short money. I've got short money. But you know what? I feel like in life, people feel like if you've got the blue tick on Instagram, they feel like you must be balling because you've got a blue tick on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram. Because you've got 50,000 followers. Guys, let me tell you one thing. 50,000 followers doesn't mean you have 50,000 pounds. Okay? I'll say that again. Having 100,000 followers on Instagram doesn't mean you've got 100,000 pounds in a bank. I feel like boxing fans, they look at Instagram accounts of pro boxers or, or, you know, or of pro athletes in general. And they automatically assume in their mind, because this guy's got the blue tick, he's got the followers, it must mean he's got money. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. Um, that's the illusion that many boxing fans have been under for the past few years. Because no one really talks about money. People don't really like to talk about money. People like to show off their belts and, you know, they like to show off all of their achievements. I've won this. I've won that belt. I'm a world champion. I'm this. I'm that. Yeah, but how much money are you earning? How much money do you get paid for the fight? I know people that have fought in world title fights and got paid under 30 grand for it. People that fought in world title fights and got paid less than £30,000. It's mad, right? It's mad, right? I think I'm going a bit off subject here, but it's okay. I talk sense and I feel like you guys like to listen to what I've got to say. Because me, OD, Two Tanks Davis, I talk some sense. Hell fucking yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway. I was in a bagel shop, yeah? I was in a bagel shop a few weeks ago and they got some girl that works there. She's about 27 years old. She came up to me, she was like, listen, with the person that you are, I've seen you come in this shop and people asking you for pictures. You're semi-famous, you got the blue tick, you got the followers, everyone knows who you are. I find it amazing that you dress the way that you dress. I'll be, you know what, honestly, I'll be expecting you to come here in two 300 pound shoes, really expensive jeans, a nice top, sunglasses, a Rolex, or at least a watch in general. That's what she said to me. You know, my pride was hurt. My pride was hurt. Because every time that I go there, I'm in the same Air Max 90s, the same tracksuit bottoms, a normal t-shirt, a normal jumper. Nothing too flash. I don't, listen, I don't dress flash. Can I afford it? Yes. But 
can I really afford it? No, I can't really afford it. Being able to afford it means you've got enough money in a bank to buy it. Yeah, I can buy anything I want. But guys, it's all about being smart. I said to her, I can afford it, but I cannot really afford it. I need to make smart investments and then I need to live off those investments. I'm not trying to live off this money that I got in the bank. Because this money I got in the bank, it will go. Once it's gone, it's gone. I won't see it again. So I need to make that money to make investments that's going to bring me more money. And the money that I make from my investments is the money that I have to spend. If I cannot make any, if I can't make enough money from my investments to get a Rolex, then you know what? Even though I can afford a Rolex, I can't afford a Rolex. If I'm not making enough money, if I'm not making enough money from my investments to buy an, you know, to buy a nice car or to buy five hundred pound shoes, then you know what? I cannot afford those five hundred pound shoes. I can only afford these thirty five pound Air Max nineties, and I don't care how much followers I get. I will dress broke, 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 and I will invest in stack, 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 and maybe in about five or ten years, I might be able to afford a Rolex, I might be able to afford expensive shoes. It's all about being smart in this game. I've seen too many people in this game fail because they're trying, because they spend money that they just don't have to spend. They spend money trying to impress everyone else. And everyone sees them and they're like, yeah, you're boring. Look at the Rolex, look at the expensive shoes. And you want to impress all these little fucking holes. But when you lose that money, these friends aren't going to be there and these holes aren't going to be there. So my point, so I feel like the point in life that I'm in right now is fuck these guys and fuck the holes. I don't give a toss about any of these motherfuckers. I'm all about investing. I'm all about, I'm, I am all about investing. And in life, that's the main thing that matters, invest. Anyway, I've been talking for quite a bit now. I've been talking for quite a bit now. Listen, I bought this bottle from Ikea a few days ago. It cost me two pounds, this little glass thing. I keep all my water in this glass thing. It cost me two pounds. It's not Prada, it's not Gucci. What brand is it? Ikea, I'm not sure if you guys can see the mark there. I've got this shit from, I I've got this shit from Ikea. I can't boast about any of this stuff. But you know what I can boast about? This couch that I'm on is in an apartment that's got my name on it. These blinds right here is in a is in an apartment that's got my name on it. Yeah, I'm on a property ladder now. I'm on a property field. My my apartment's quite nice. I've got new lights. I've got spotlights over here. I've got other I've got other lights over there. I got I got disco lights in my bedroom. I've got a 55 inch screen TV right here. But this is my apartment, and you know what? It's gonna go up in value. This apartment is an investment. And you know what I want? Maybe end of this year, early next year, I wanna get my second apartment. And then I, I wanna get a third apartment, a fourth, a fifth, and I wanna live on my investments. Listen guys, I can get a Gucci bottle that will go down in value. If my Audi A5 breaks down, I'll go and get uh, I'll go and get the BMW i8 or the Audi R8, but as soon as I drive it outside of the complex, it loses a quarter in value. I can go out and buy expensive clothes, but as soon as I wear them, they decrease in value. You buy an apartment, <laughs> you sit down and wait. Next year, that apartment will, you know, they will, you know, its value will go up by 20 to 30% in a year. Apartment increase in value. You s listen, if you're a pro athlete now, don't be stupid. Start a clothing brand. Invest. Be business minded. Don't be belt minded. Don't be thinking about, I want this belt or that belt. No, be business minded. Think about money. Think about the paychecks. Okay. Think about money, think about the paychecks, because boxing, end of the day, boxing's a business. Boxing's a motherfucking business. My two pound IKEA bottle. 
actually, I think it was a pound fifty. It probably weren't even two pounds. Probably like a pound fifty. Something like that. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm gonna play in the PS4 now. I've got this PS4. So, you know what? I'm gonna play a game. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.